Me put me anywhere at the problem. Yes. Uh, I, I the problem. here because um, the other day they had something here and I didn't know someone here. One day I didn't know they had camera in the room because mm -hmm. I work at assistant living in, but I work in memory care. Mm -hmm. And so one night this gentleman could not sleep because I was working overnight. Mm -hmm. And so he was restless. And I was there, I was talking to him. I'm like, what's going on with him? But he could not sleep. And I was singing the song that um, Kirk Franklin sings. Hallelujah. And listen, that's, that, that song that I sing to him went viral. And he, he, went, he, 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 daughter, he went in a different mode. As I said, I didn't know they had camera in the room. Yeah. So the, they video it and they send it to some of the um, assistant living in. So the, where, where I'm at right now, it's a five star. You see, so you you already, you God even promotes us. So people think, oh, I'm in assistant Amen. living. Mm -hmm. You don't know who is watching. The God of Abraham's eyes are always watching. God is watching, yes. So whatever you do, do it for Jesus. Do it for Jesus and do it whatever with love. Whatever you're doing, you because have to make sure you have nobody to. is perfect. But at the same time, when you're coming up on the name of Jesus, you have to do right by others because do in it. this life that we are in today, remember, exactly. the place we are in is not our home. No, no. And even when they lose family, comfort them, them, you know. Because sometimes people don't even know how to comfort or leave you. Some people yeah, don't even know how to comfort. Comfort so these people. Persons good. Exactly. Remember, remember the scripture says we have yeah. to love our neighbor as, as we love ourselves. ourselves. How exactly. can we say we love God when we hate our brother and sister? Mm. And most of the How people doing these jobs. And so if our brother hungry and we can't feed them. My sister, most of the people doing these jobs, what I've realized is they have killed the meaning of the job. Most of the women in the health facility working with elder people are the most wicked, mean human beings I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I ask God, what are they doing in there? And if you come there with the right heart, you will not survive with them because they have made a system. They treat people like it's a number. There is no love. You know that when they see you showing love to the people and even hugging the people, they'll start telling you that is unprofessional, this and that. Me, people, I've got the favor of the Lord. And because I enter in a place with love, Olivia, me, I get a hug. Whether you're a boss or not, you're going to get a hug. What professionalism yes. for your rubbish? Yes. They make things uptight for nothing. Somebody loses a family member. They will not allow you to give hug. They go call you. You're not supposed to hug them. I even say most of them, they go in there for pension and for the money that they make. And they clock just hours. But no love. But if you took yourself to go and take care of the elderly people only for the intention of money and you're mistreating them. I know that yeah. no matter what happens, you're going straight to hell. Didn't you hear the Lord said, children, obey your parents, and we should respect our elders. Honor and glory belongs to God. And he said, we should respect the people that have lived more than us. And even if when they are fools, we should never allow ourselves to join their foolishness. We should show them the respect yeah. that is due to them. Yeah. But a lot of women have chosen to go in the health department. Mean witches, Jezebel, she's working in the health department. You can feel so. Amen. So true. Me, that's why I can't stay in there, because they will not allow me to save to, to, to help people with love. They really wanted me to be part of the system, the code system of treating people like they are not human beings. No, me, I got the extra mile because I was also raised part of my life with my grandmother. My grandmother allowed me to suck from her breast, even if it was dry breast, Olivia. When my mama left, was it not my grandmother who left the village to come and help my father to raise his children? Right. So I have this thing for old people. And even when they are racist, me, I have a problem with families being racist. But when an old person, whether they are demands or not, when they are racist, I don't give a damn about it. Because I know when my grandmother was old, she became a drago, a drama queen. I can't fight with somebody older than me. I can only pray that God have mercy on them because they don't have time. You can't fight with them on those levels. That's what my mother told me. So you can call me nigger if you want when you are old. I don't care. I will always show love and I never revenge the old people. I think it's because my grandmother did well for me. I want to do well for the older people. It's a shame that people choose to do these jobs, but you cannot even show the love to the older people, beating them, treating them like they, they don't exist. The type of food these older people eat, just because somebody is old, does not mean that they should eat food like dog food. God will punish us, I'm telling you, Sister Olivia, this is our generation. Yeah. But it's each true. man, 
lie on your bed, you will know God. And for us who are Africans working in these facilities, us who are blacks, Jamaicans, Guyanans, do, have we forgotten where we came from that we have become like the white women treating other yeah, people like them? Are you be, have you forgotten who you are? What's your mama tell you? Is it not big mama that was cooking Sunday dinner for you? Is it not our grandparents that teach us how to put that wrapper when you get your first period? The level they suffer to teach us the right wisdom and knowledge. We come here abroad, you're joining the system. In fact, when I see it in black women, Olivia, I think it's filthy. I think it's filthy because we are better than that. Us who come from African homes, we are better than that. That we have become accustomed to the systems. That's why I said I would rather lose a job any day, any time. Because me, I am good for this job. I was born to be a caretaker because loving people is the easiest thing that I do. I cannot read and write, but I can cook, I can wash somebody. People don't yeah, get now, washed, Olivia, they are wiped, you understand, sis? It's, it's Wiping you, them, you, you, you no lotion. Women are burnt, burnt in the private we, part we, here we, that sometimes you won't cry. God have mercy on us. And you, the other person who, who helped the other person saw it, they do nothing about it. Even you, you see it, you don't do nothing about it. People are allowed to poop in diapers like babies. Nobody will help them. Ah. That's true. I change a lot, um, Sister Ada. I change a lot. And I never make up my face one day to say, oh, yes, I, I don't know what's going to happen to me in this life. I don't know. Me, I'm worried, Olive. Because if we have this Jezebel running your generation doing this rubbish, so my can God. you imagine what our generation to come will be? Apostle Moni, I just saw you send the live in uh, the request I let you in. You can only imagine 10 years from now. That's why when I quit to, on Tuesday, I was telling the so-called middleman for the company. I said I worry because most people in the health department here, they are keeping their jobs only for their checks. Uh -huh. Not the love. Not the love. And let me tell you, whatever you do, if you don't do it with love, you will never ever fulfill anything. Because where there is no love, there is no fruit. There is no, it's meaningless. It's useless. We'll talk soon. Yes. So I pray you this is going to make somebody wake up. And you might think you are hiding, treating people bad. You think nobody sees you. Actually, these people who don't see you, they are useless. We are all useless for you. But the one that sees you the most, the one you need to fear, the Lord above. That one you can't hide from him. Amen. And he knows everything. And Sister Olivia, stay patient because most of the times when you have love in the health, you cannot stay. And at my last job, I noticed they try to make people quit. They will actually frustrate you and bully you with the things to make sure that you leave that place. Me, I couldn't be bullied. I left because I'm, I know what these hands can do. And as a black woman here, if I beat a white woman who is my boss, what is going to happen to me, Olive? Oh, Jesus. I, I, I but at the I same time, I look her in the God. eye and I told the her that I respect I, you, I, but I, I don't fear you. To give me that strength, because I'm telling you, if you don't give me that strength... No, he will give you the strength. I can do nothing. We need, we need, all of us, we need to be strong. Because the fact that they are chasing people with good hearts... The health department is filled with bitter hearts. You think women are born from the same same umbilical cord. Because, and the, the unfairness also of these bosses in these institutions, if they don't like you, they will make sure that you will not go anywhere. They will determine what you get paid, how many hours. There's a lot of manipulation and I cried to God because when I left this job, I cried. And today I was surprised I received an email. I said, I said, I quit. They didn't fire me. Every job here in Holland, I have quit because I chose peace and to do what is right. Because if I'm going to take part in an institution that is mistreating other people, I am part of the problem. I am Satan's daughter too. And I'm not Satan's daughter. I can never be. I used to be when I ignorant without knowing that I was saving Satan before. Now my eyes are open. I will never be Satan's 